um, Alexa Kid. for giving me this opportunity to talk today. Um, I'm a doctor. I'm talking today on my own behalf, but I know I probably many of my colleagues would share my views. Um, and I would like to address the issue of the um, transport side of your 10-year plan. I first would like to thank the council and your predecessors for all the work that's been done on introducing the cycle waves for making it possible for people to cycle safely, to scoot um, any which way they want to, want to get about. I'm passionate about active transport and spoke to a, a smaller group of you um, back in 2012 promoting the infrastructure. I live in Mount Pleasant, I work in Hill Morton, I cycle every day. And um, as I cross Brougham though, Brougham Street, I am saddened by the endless cars that are all backed up that are moving at a glacial pace. Perhaps the people in those cars are not aware that the pollution inside your car is actually worse than for me on my bicycle. And with your cycleways, we're a little bit further away now from the pollution. Then I think about where do these people come from? Obviously, at Brougham, they come from Rolleston and points south, but there are also people in Rang Rangiora and points north who have very little option about how they get into town. And when I look at your 10-year plan, I don't see the word railway anywhere, anything about trains at all, which was what motivated me to put in a submission. And um, there are so many good reasons for the train. From a medical point of view, if you were to have a heart attack, I'm sure you'd agree with me, you'd rather be on the train, and modern trains even have defibrillators sometimes, you'd rather be on the train than you would be behind the wheel of a car in which you'd almost certainly have a very nasty accident and might kill somebody else as well. You can do work, you can relax, you can talk to people. We all live in our little bubbles as we sit in our cars, and we know, I think from COVID, we know how important it is to be able to talk to other people. And um, I guess um, thinking about trains, I know that um, light rail is the absolutely holy grail, but it's a huge undertaking. 2014, I understand that um, it was decided that using the existing tracks wasn't viable because when people came into the city, they were too far away from their work. But now we have so many different ways to do that last two, three, four kilometres of your journey that we could revisit that and revisit it soon. So really, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'd just like you to think again a bit about the train. I appreciate that ECAN and central government are also involved. Mm. We hear heaps about all this just before elections, but nothing afterwards. <laughs> Thank you, very timely. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Victoria Andrews, Akoroa Civic Trust presentation.